Hey everyone, it's me, Krista Mayshore. Today, I wanna to share with you five video content ideas that every single real estate agent needs to be recording today, yesterday. These are some of the strategies that I did, which actually helped me sell on average 134 homes a year. In fact, I even wrote the book, sell 100 homes a year. But before we begin, I want you to know this. You do not need expensive cameras or expensive lighting. All you need is a good open window, your phone, and I would suggest getting a tripod. Those are really inexpensive. Any tripod that you can find can actually hold your phone so it keeps it nice and still, will work per perfectly. So do not stress about having the perfect equipment. You most likely already have everything that you need. So the last thing I want to address is this. I know we all worry about, about what we look like. We think people are not gonna like us. We're gonna make a mistake, but that's how you look. That's who you are. So don't worry about it. You'll get more comfortable as you start doing it, but you can't get better if you don't start. So pick up your camera, hit record. You're not gonna get better if you do not start. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the five ideas you as a real estate agent need to start creating right now to become the top producing agent in your area. The first content idea is something you need to start doing on every single listing that you have. It's called a virtual tour. But before I even explain this one, I want you to ask yourself this question. How many open houses have you held recently that almost nobody showed up? Well, if you're like most agents in my area, you probably already answered that it wasn't very many people, just a few came. So let me explain why this is happening. I know you've heard of this really cool thing called the internet, right? <laughs> the internet makes it so easy for anybody just to go and look at houses, what they cost, bedrooms, bathrooms, look at pictures. They are going online right now to look at homes. So they don't actually have to go to an open house anymore to see the house. They can just go to their computer from their very comfy home. This is why it's very essential for you to start creating virtual property tours on every single listing. This is gonna help you reach a wider audience of clients and position you as the authority in your area. So start doing virtual tours on every single home that you own. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, Krista, I don't have any homes to sell. Well, guess what? You can go to somebody in your office, ask them if you could, show, you could showcase their properties. You can even go to a new home community and ask them if you could showcase theirs. There's a solution to everything. So property tours, number one. Or the second thing that's gonna position you as the authority is tailored neighborhood content. This one strategy alone helped me sell 48 transactions in a 12 month time frame just from this one strategy. We sold more than that that year, over 100, but just this one thing got me 48 closed seller transactions. So I hope you're as excited about that as I was when I closed them. So here it is. You need to start creating content specific to the neighborhoods that you want to do business in. Here's the deal. It's easy. All you have to do is one time per week, film a video that does nothing but hold value about the community. This can be anything from what to expect when buying or what to expect when selling in that specific neighborhood or all the fun things that are that you can do, what is the restaurants in the area, the schools are like, just talk about just a specific neighborhood. This is how you go from being an everyday agent to being the go-to neighborhood agent. So think about it. When people are thinking of buying or selling, they usually go online first, right? That's why a virtual tour is important. But also, they go online where they're thinking about buying or selling in a specific neighborhood. So if you start creating content about a specific neighborhood, when they go to search online, you are going to show up. That is how Google Analytics works. And make sure you put all of those videos onto YouTube as well so you get more search engine optimization. Okay, tip number three. No matter who or what or when or where, there's a good chance you're gonna actually get a client who has never bought a home or sold a home before. And here's the news flash. Even if they have, they still don't know what they're doing and they still need more information. So like most people, these new potential buyers and sellers are doing as much information as they can on what to expect when preparing to buy a home or to sell a home. And that's where you come in. You can take it a step further and create a video that is addressing exactly what to expect when looking to sell a home or looking to buy a home in a specific city or state. This is not only gonna help potential buyers and sellers, but it's also gonna drastically help you because when you create a video addressing specific pain points like what to expect for first time buyers or what to expect when selling your home for the first time, you're gonna attract many more potential leads. And these potential leads can turn into clients because they feel like they already know you because they trust you before they've actually even met you because you've given them so much content and so much help. You're giving them value, you're serving, not just selling. So when the time comes for them to buy or sell, you are going to be the one they think about and the one they choose because you've added value first. Make sense? Number four, community content. 
Now this idea is how to become top of mind in every aspect of real estate in your area. You need to start creating content that has nothing to do with the housing market or buying or selling, but everything to do with the local neighborhood, the local community. Now you might be thinking, well, Krista, why in the heck would I ever wanna make content about the local area when I wanna sell houses? That's all I wanna do. So let me explain how this is gonna actually help you and also elevate you as the expert in your town. When people are moving, they could be from 2,000 miles away or two houses down the street. But the goal is always the same, to find a home, to buy a home, to sell a home. So when you create content dedicated to the community and the new things to do around the town, the new restaurants, what to do, the parks in town, what's nearby, what are the schools like, where's the local hotspot, what happens is you're not only selling a home, but you're also selling what it's gonna be like to live in the area. You're talking about the schools, the restaurants, volunteering for events. All of these things are gonna help you serve your community. Everyone's gonna slowly get to know who you are and they're gonna wanna work with you. And people love this kind of stuff. And P.S., this is also how you're gonna start getting a ton of new referrals. People are gonna refer you that don't even know you because they see you all over town talking about the neighborhood. Now, number five, a day in the life of behind the scenes. Did you know that on television, real estate shows are like the most watched shows? Why? Because people are obsessed with real estate. So what do you wanna do? You want to start talking about what's it like to be in the day of a life of a realtor. And most people have no clue about how hard it is, their grit, and how much work it takes to actually be an agent or a top producing agent that actually deserves the title. That's right, I said that because I think that most agents don't deserve the title, top producers. Most of them are just top producing by default. Think about it. If some states, it only takes about 100 hours or so before you can actually get your license. So almost anybody can do it. You can separate yourself from these top producers who are top producers by default by starting to create video content around what you do day to day as a real estate agent. Show them everything. This is actually how you're gonna be able to showcase your expertise and the benefits clients actually get when they start working with you. Show them what's happening behind the scenes. So there you have it, everyone. Five video content ideas that every real estate agent should be filming right now. And remember, like all good things, this is gonna take a little bit of time. And although when you stay consistent and hold value, that's when you're gonna start winning listings and winning buyers before they even met, meet you. Because you're winning before you walk through the front door because you're adding value. Hope this is helpful. If you liked it, do me a favor, like and subscribe, send it to a friend. And do me a favor, if you wanna learn more about how you can be the go-to agent utilizing top producing digital marketing strategies relevant in today's market, so people can't forget about you, look in the description to attend my three-day virtual event. We have it every single month, and it's the cost of a couple cups of coffee. So subscribe down below, click the link, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.